one of the many silent backbones of being an effective 3D artist is efficiency. Getting from point A to point B quickly is essential, especially when you're working at scale. A lot of 3D softwares have a lot of functionality and a lot of functionality sometimes gets a lot cumbersome to navigate very quickly. Some people are comfortable with this and don't mind it. Some people like to use on-screen buttons and others like me love keyboard shortcuts, but you can't conceivably remember every single shortcut for every single action and nor do you want to do that. The happy medium for this is often radial menus or pie menus as they're often called affectionately. Especially for those actions that you can't quite remember the shortcut for and maybe use a little bit less often. Well, Plasticity just got native pie menus or radial menus as they call them in the new 1.3 version. Now there's a little bit of extra setup on this one and some very simple copy pasta coding which is way less scary than it sounds if you've never dealt with coding or scripts before. So I'm now going to show you how to set these up but just a little disclaimer I'm not a coder but I've got enough experience to read code and cobble some things together and the stuff here is super simple. Okay, so here we've got plasticity and an example of one of the pie menus that they've made for us. So this is, um, instead of going up here to click these, you can, you can assign your pie menu to a shortcut. In this case, it's Z. And you can go to face, object, point, and edge. Okay. So I'm going to bring the code for that on screen. So this is the viewport settings code. Now, if you look at the top of the notepad, you'll see that it is called viewport dash settings, which is the name of the script, dot radial, which indicates that it's for a radial menu, dot JSON, which I believe is a JavaScript. Um, so if you see here, it's a very simple script and that's what's uh, allowing us to do this um, here. So what you can see here is some very simple scripting. Now the first thing, if you've never dealt with scripts before, and excuse me if you have, but I'm sure there's some people that haven't, grammar is key. So everything is kept inside. So you can see that this curly bracket here means we're opening the script. And you can see the end of the script is closed by a curling bracket. Okay, up here at the top, we've got some basic, um, I don't even know what it's called, but you're basically naming your script. You're saying what it does and how to, how to call it. And then you've got the items that are within the script. And then you'll notice a square bracket followed by a curly bracket. Some coding languages are very, um, reliant on indentations this isn't the case in javascript just as long as these are in the right order um, everything will work so what we've got here is a curly bracket opening our item okay and the command is inside um, these things um, inverted commas followed by a colon, followed by uh, what command you're calling, and then you can name the icon, and there's a list of icons on the website, I'll show you the website in a moment, and then the label, which is going to be the name label, so for example, toggle orthographic, uh, I think that's in a different menu, this is a different menu, whoopsie, okay, this is the right one for the one that I was just showing you, it's even more simple. You can see command selection colon mode colon set colon control point that's the name and then the icon is control point and the label is control point so if we look at that we've got our control point up there and it says control point so that text control point that's showing up there the label there okay so we'll just go over to the website for a second and there's a full 
tutorial on how to do it. The radial manuals and blah, blah, blah. And okay, so the one I just showed you, uh, selection mode, you can download from the website and also the viewport settings, which I think was the other one that I was showing you, which you can download from the website, which are the two default ones. But they've included the ability to make a new radial menu. So you can do all of these sorts of um, things. And then you've got all of the um, commands down here. So um, you can basically choose any of the commands that are inside of Plasticity and add it to your um, add it to your radial menu. So I've made one. Okay, and I'll show you. So if I go Alt A, which is what I've set this to, you can see four things, and. Got patch a hole, viewport settings over here, primitives, so I can add a primitive and pull it out. Um, arrays, so I can make a curve array, a normal array, and a radial array. And actually, why have I got edges turned off? So What's cool about that is that you can add um, a pie menu within a pie menu. As you can see, primitives, and you just let go, and then I can add my prim, like, like so. So I'll show you the script for that. So here I've got my basic script. Okay, so I've called this modeling actions. I think I just copy pasted command your name my menu that's just the command call and then I've got the patch tool in there and then what I'm doing here is I'm calling the viewport settings I've chose the render mode icon for that one and then labeled that viewport so if I bring that over you can see what this one does so this here is calling this script here which has a few more things in it so this is just a nice way of keeping it tidy and making sure that i only use one one or two shortcut keys for radial menus i don't want to like a different one for every single menu you may wish to do that but um, i think having a menu within a menu is a nice easy way to work because you can just build up your muscle memory so the next one is the radial array menu which is the script here I've just called that arrays, curve array, rectangular, and radial, and then um, primitives, um, and then I've got the prim menu. And as you can see here, uh, the command is uh, view dash radial uh, view colon radial colon prim dash menu, and you can see the name there, prim dot menu. Now you can use the website to fool around with these things. Um, and have fun making your own um, scripts um, just as a final note um, we will just look at this um, one of mine um, okay and just one thing to note which you might not if you're not a coder you'll notice curly bracket close it with a curly bracket and before you do the new item there's a comma so you need to separate these by a comma except for the last one do not include a comma after the last one just close it with your square bracket and with your curly bracket honestly you can just copy and paste um, all your different terms from here um, and you can find the different icons uh, you can usually just guess by um, you know copy and pasting something from here not everything has an icon some things just have a name so that's radial menus there we go viewport settings can change to x-ray even though i would usually just use a shortcut for that oh and actually to get them to work what you actually just need to do is um Grab the file that you've made, make sure it's named .radial.json and then once it's saved you just drag and drop it into the viewport and then when you press F on your keyboard 
you can type in radial and you'll find your menus and that's where you can assign a shortcut. It's nice to have it in both places. Um, I will put these um, scripts up on the Patreon if you can't be bothered and you want to use my ones um, or use that as a starting point. Obviously the plasticity docs have a starting point as well. All right, thanks a lot. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, did a live stream on Sunday. That was awesome. You can go and watch that. I reckon I'll do some more of those. That was fun. A few of you joined in and we had chats about cameras and all sorts. So that was great. All right. See you in the next one.